Jhevar recipe, a traditional Rajasthani sweet. Ingredients For the batter 1. 2 cups all-purpose flour 2. 1 quarter cup ghee, clarified butter, melted 3. 1 half teaspoon cardamom powder 4. 1 and a half cups chilled water For the sugar syrup 1. 2 cups granulated sugar 2. 1 cup water 3. A pinch of saffron strands, optional 4. 1 half teaspoon cardamom powder For frying and garnishing 1. Ghee or oil, for deep frying 2. Sliced almonds, pistachios, and silver leaf, work, for garnishing. Instructions Preparing the batter In a large mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour and melted ghee. Mix well until the mixture resembles breadcrumbs. Add cardamom powder and gradually add chilled water while stirring continuously. Mix until you get a smooth batter without any lumps. The consistency should be slightly thicker than pancake batter. Frying the ghevar. Heat ghee or oil in a wide, heavy bottomed pan or kadai. The oil should be moderately hot, not too hot. Take a circular deep frying container, called a mold, with holes at the bottom. You can also use a perforated ladle if you don't have a special mold. Deep the mold in the hot ghee or oil for a minute to heat it. Place the hot mold over the pan of hot ghee or oil. Make sure it's stable and not wobbling. Pour a ladle full of the prepared batter into the mold. Allow the batter to flow through the holes and spread naturally into the hot ghee. Fry the ghevar on medium heat until it turns golden and crisp. Gently press it with the back of a ladle to ensure even frying. This may take a few minutes. Carefully remove the ghevar from the mold and let the excess ghee drip off. Preparing the sugar syrup. In a separate pan, combine sugar and water to make the sugar syrup. Bring it to a boil and continue cooking until it reaches a one-string consistency. Add saffron strands, if using, and cardamom powder to the syrup. Mix well and remove from heat. Assembling the ghevar. Immerse the fried ghevar into the warm sugar syrup. Allow it to soak for a few minutes, ensuring it's coated with the syrup. Carefully remove the ghevar from the syrup and place it on a serving plate. Garnishing Garnish the soaked ghevar with sliced almonds and pistachios while it's still moist. Optionally, you can also place a thin sheet of silver leaf, work, on top for added elegance. Serving Ghevar is best enjoyed when it's still slightly warm and moist from the sugar syrup. Serve this delicious Rajasthani sweet as a festive dessert, and savor the traditional flavors of Rajasthan. Note, be cautious while deep frying and handling hot sugar syrup to prevent any accidents.